Mr. Thomas, did you do the seven? Mr. Thomas, why did you do it? Do you have anything to say? Is there a reason you did it? Our understanding is that while there was a Hanukkah lighting ceremony going on last night at the rabbi's house back here, uh, an individual came in with a machete and started stabbing uh, people, and we're not sure if anything was yelled. Uh, if any slurs uh, occurred while that was happening. But our understanding is that a group of people, one or more people, tried to barricade themselves in the synagogue next door uh, to protect themselves from the onslaught, uh, that at least five people were, were transported to the hospital. He will be facing five counts of attempted murder and one count of burglary in first degree. And there was a lot of women and children, they all ran out. And um, I, I, I came in, I, 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 when I was outside, I thought that probably he will do the same. Because I saw his sword, I was sure he's going to kill everyone. We have the toughest hate crimes law, court laws in the United States of America, and we are going to enforce them to the full extent of the law. We have to change the laws to call this what it is. This is terrorism. It is domestic terrorism. In the tour dedication, um, in spite of what happened last night, is just a great opportunity to bring unity and to show everybody that no matter what happens, no matter who tries um, to destroy us in any way, we will still rise and we will be happy and we will praise our God. It's time that, you know, we protect ourselves. We can't let what happened last night ever happen again. That's the saying, never again, is being taken serious right now. Last night's brutal attack sent shockwaves through our community and around the world. Yet with God's help, the casualties were less extensive than what might have been. Our hearts and prayers are with those who were injured, especially the elderly congregant who remains in critical condition.